bodybuilding, many guys have shocked the industry with their huge and monstrous looking physiques. We call Dorian Yates the first mass monster in the industry, but this guy is no different. He had a bicep bigger than any bodybuilder of his era, and his quads are unbelievably big, just like the legendary quad father Tom Platts. He was completely packed with a giant upper body and giant legs. He is known as Phil Hill, aka Top of the Hill, an underrated bodybuilding legend. Phil Hill, born on October 12, 1963, was a massive bodybuilder who enjoyed a brief yet successful career in the sport. Despite his impressive size, he surprised many with his flexibility, incorporating splits into his posing routines. In the 1988 Mr. Olympia contest, Hill placed 12th, which some argue was unfair considering his recent victory at the 1988 Night of the Champions. He gained particular fame for his captivating routine, Phantom of the Opera, performed at the 1988 Olympia, hailed as one of the best of the 1980s. Although he retired from bodybuilding at the age of 27, Phil remains esteemed as one of the greatest posers in the sport's history. Is that if you're a champion, if you work hard and dedicate yourself, it doesn't matter what coast you're on, you're going to achieve. Residing in Trenton, New Jersey, he stands at 5'8", 173 centimeters, and weighs 225 pounds, 102 kilograms, affectionately known as Top of the Hill. Phil's interest in weight training began early in his youth, leading him to compete in bodybuilding shows in his late teens. His victory at the 1982 Mr. New Jersey marked a pivotal moment, freely appelling him into a professional bodybuilding career. Over four years of dedicated training, he claimed victories in prestigious competitions such as the 1986 AAU Mr. America Medium and the 1986 AAU Mr. USA Medium and overall. Phil Hill, a lesser known bodybuilder whom I greatly admire, didn't always achieve high placements in competitions, but his incredible physique and unique posing style always stood out to me. Despite not reaching the top ranks, he exuded grace and strength, as evidenced by the images and videos I've come across. In a remarkable turn of events, Phil clinched first place at the NPC Nationals heavyweight, a year later, earning his pro card. His debut in the IFBB occurred in 1988 at the Niagara Falls Pro Invitational, where he secured second place. In addition to his bodybuilding pursuits, Phil worked as a correctional officer at the NJ Trenton State Prison. However, he faced dismissal following allegations of illegal substance possession. Despite this setback, Phil persisted in his bodybuilding career, achieving notable success. In 1988, he triumphed at the IFBB Night of Champions and participated in the Mr. Olympia, where he placed 12th. It's the word fitness. A bodybuilder is very fit. Then you get fit from the inside out with your diet, your running, your jogging, your weightlifting, your incorporated all into being a bodybuilder. Don't mistake the word bodybuilding. The bodybuilding and weightlifting aren't synonymous because bodybuilding means building the body, building the mind, building everything from the inside out. So you do a little jogging, you do a little swimming, you do a little aerobics, do everything to incorporate yourself. Total fitness, total health. His iconic posing routine, Phantom of the Opera, performed during the Olympia, garnered global acclaim, solidifying his legacy in the sport for years to come. Phil continued competing in the IFBB Pro League for the following two years before ultimately retiring from the sport. Though I don't have first-hand knowledge of his training methods, it's been reported that he favored volume training, incorporating both heavy weights and high reps until reaching failure. 
This approach likely contributed to his well-proportioned physique, characterized by substantial muscle mass on his 5, 8 inches frame. Regarding his diet, Phil Hill, an old-school bodybuilder, once shared his approach. Steak and potatoes for bulking and chicken and salad for cutting. While this may oversimplify his dietary regimen, it provides a sensible guideline. Tragically, Phil Hill passed away on January 21st at the age of 53. His contributions to the sport are indelible, cementing his status as a legendary bodybuilder.